we're in the Holy Ghost dispensation our job is to get people into fellowship with him the Holy Ghost and then we can instruct them in the ways of walking with him the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrock. Thank you for joining us. Jesus if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Matthew 3, verse 11. Who's saying this? John the Baptist. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that comes after me. Say, he that comes after me. He that comes after me. So this is John the Baptist's message. He preached it all the time that there was someone coming after him. Mm -hmm. It wasn't him. And when they came out, he said, there's somebody coming. Say, there's somebody coming. There's somebody coming. There's somebody coming, there's somebody coming after me. Yes. Who was coming after John the Baptist? Jesus. Jesus was coming after John the Baptist. But he that comes after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost or he will immerse you into the Holy Ghost so here's John the Baptist say John the Baptist, John the Baptist. his message was that someone was gonna come after him they didn't know who it was at this point mm -hmm. but he said that this Jesus this guy coming after him his job was to get them into the Holy Ghost did you see that yes. what was Jesus's job to get people into the Holy Ghost some people didn't go that far they got baptized and you know and then they they believed on Jesus but then they didn't go and receive and become fully immersed in the Holy Ghost which was the whole point mm -hmm. so John the Baptist said that someone's coming and he said that Jesus would say the Holy Ghost is coming and then we see Jesus saying that yes. all throughout his ministry I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna send another I'm gonna go away and send another over and over and over again Jesus was saying someone's coming after me John the Baptist said somebody's coming after me which was Jesus Jesus said somebody's coming after me say after Jesus. after Jesus after Jesus did everything he had to do on the earth death burial resurrection ascension someone came after mm -hmm. this is straight-up gospel fact yep, it is. so John's ministry led to Jesus Jesus's ministry led to the Holy Ghost and where are we today we're in the Holy Ghost dispensation say I'm in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Dispensation. dispensation but I find it's very curious that here we see John the Baptist after all of these years of John the Baptist he was able to encapsulate his message and his ministry in one sentence not easy to do it takes maturity say it takes maturity it takes maturity it takes experience and it doesn't just happen overnight but it is a mark of maturity to distill down the message that God has given you into a singular statement and it took a whole lot to get here and some never do some never get to the place where they have a message from God they just preach all the things that everybody else preaches to have a specific pure and refined message from God takes maturity it takes responsibility and it takes God putting his finger of approval on you before he releases that to you mm -hmm. do you get this yes. but that's what you're hearing today when you hear the words the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words it encapsulates so much I've been doing this 
a long time and I've preached other things 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 but that's where we are today some people don't like it that way they don't like it when you say the way it is mm -hmm. we're in the Holy Ghost dispensation he's God in the earth today and you're either walking with him or you're walking in some other fictional thing that you've made up there's no other God in the earth a change came over me as I entered into this room of Holy Ghost worship say the room, the room. Of, Holy of Holy Ghost worship and some people will never enter in there God bless them but I preach from a new position of authority I speak as one sent with a message not everyone can hear it and therefore not everyone can go there because for whatever reason they've shut it off and they can't enter in mm -hmm. Jesus spake with authority and people didn't like it John the Baptist spake with authority they didn't like it mm -hmm. because he had a message from God to tell people Matthew chapter 7 verse 28 and it came to pass when Jesus had ended these sayings the people were astonished at his doctrine they couldn't handle the truth for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes some people have never heard in their ears someone speaking with authority and not as the scribes the scribes just say what everybody else says but when somebody has authority and they speak from that place of authority it astonishes them it's like tilt mm -hmm. you know you're playing a pinball machine and you push it too hard <laughs> sometimes it doesn't take much to push people too hard mm -hmm. he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes and what he said would have transported them to some other place but they couldn't hear it they cut him off say they cut him off they cut him off Who'd they cut off they cut Jesus off because they wouldn't receive it they weren't willing to go there and they had whatever reason they could think of they didn't like him they knew his parents or whatever but it's hearing that transports you to the place you need to go it's words spoken words spoken with authority that will take you to where those words came from are you here mm -hmm jesus said it all the time he that has an ear to hear let him hear mm -hmm. what the spirit is saying luke chapter 4 and verse 22 and all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words that proceeded out of his mouth and they said is this not joseph's son immediately mm -hmm. they heard the words and they immediately flip back over to the natural realm is this not Joseph's son why mm -hmm. so they didn't have to receive what he said yes. it's Jesus speaking and he said these things all bear witness they all bear witness, all bear witness. and wondered at the gracious words that proceeded out of his mouth and they said is not this Joseph's son so they could reject what he said and it's because they become friendly with him in this instance they knew his family they knew him on that interaction of a physical nature and it made them it enabled them I'll say it that way it enabled them to reject certain things that he said mm -hmm. and it's the same way in the ministry today when you have a message from God it's easy to reject what you're saying because you have an excuse you can't give people an excuse you give them an excuse they take it they saw Jesus as a man and not as a man of God because of that they couldn't go on that reasoning killed their ability to hear what he said God could be speaking to you right now and you've taken the easy route of rejection of the person rather than the thing that they're saying mm -hmm. easy route I don't like you well 
nobody said you had to like me you know that's the way like the way i look but i am speaking from the spirit of god it killed their ability to hear and what's the most important thing he, he that has ears to hear let him hear mm -hmm. well dr dufresne you remember him right dr dufresne mentored me somewhat in this and he said if if people got too familiar with him or got too chummy with him or they're over at his house a lot and then he said it would kill their ability to receive from him as a man of god mm -hmm. and he said that he did this several times and he cautioned me against it he said be careful of this but if you're getting too chummy with a man of god that's speaking words into your life you might want to back off a little bit because what's more important hearing what god is saying to you yes. say the most important thing, the most important thing is, hearing is hearing what the spirit of god, spirit of god is, saying is saying to me and he might have put somebody into your life to speak things to you so don't cut them off and he goes on to say i'm not your buddy if he became my buddy he couldn't have been my mentor so and a lot of the responsibility is for me to cut that off or cut it short so that we're not buddies or i can't hear does this make sense mm -hmm. yes yeah. but i am a sent one with the message that you either hear or you don't you either receive it or you don't and largely it's based on whether you receive me or you don't does that make sense did I show you that in fact if you don't receive what I'm saying or you can't hear what I'm saying then I have nothing to do with you I can't I may love to but you can't first Kings chapter 13 verse 1 and behold there came a man of God say a man of God that generally means a prophet out of judah by the word of the lord unto bethel and jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense verse 2 and he cried against the altar in the word of the lord and said "O altar altar thus saith the lord and this goes on for a while okay understand what's going on here you had a man of god coming into jeroboam and prophesying against the altar in jeroboam basically and verse 7 and the king said unto the man of god come home with me and refresh thyself and i will give thee a reward do you see what's happening here the prophet came in mm -hmm. prophesied some stuff and after a few other things happened jeroboam the king invited the man of god back to his house the palace is this too difficult mm -hmm. to have some food and he said uh, and and a reward mm -hmm. well most people be like yeah, I'll do that that'd be good mm -hmm. verse 8 and the man of God said unto the king if thou wilt give me half thine house I will not go in with thee neither will I eat this bread nor drink water in this place verse 9 for it it was charged me by the word of the Lord saying eat no bread nor drink water nor turn again by the same way that thou camest so here's the king offering well wouldn't matter if he offered him the greatest reward half of his kingdom mm -hmm. the prophet said no I'm not gonna go back to your house the Lord told me not to go back that way but I'm gonna go back the other way say don't go back that way, don't go back that way. and verse 10 so he went another way and returned not by the way he came to Bethel verse 11 now there dwelt an old prophet in bethel mm -hmm. say an old, prophet. an old prophet and his sons came and told him all the works the man of god had done the day in bethel and uh, the words which he'd spoken unto the king they told also to their father mm -hmm. verse 12 and their father said unto them what way went he for his sons had seen what way the man of god went which came from judah and he said unto his sons, saddle me an ass verse 14 and went after the man of god and found him sitting under an oak and he said unto him art thou the man of god that came from judah and he said i am 
then he said unto him come home with me and eat bread hmm verse 16 and he said i may not return with thee nor go in with thee neither will i eat bread nor drink water with thee in this place for it was said to me by the word of the lord thou shalt eat no bread nor drink water there nor turn against to go by the way that thou camest so he's repeating what the lord told him not to do verse 18 and he said unto him i'm a prophet also as thou art and an angel spoke unto me by the word of the lord saying bring him back with thee into thine own house that he may eat bread and drink water but he lied unto him who lied unto him the old prophet mm -hmm. tried to get him to go back the way he'd come mm -hmm. he didn't like it somebody going out beyond where he'd been before yeah. are you here and so he went back with him and did eat bread in his house and drank water and it came to pass that while they sat at the table that the word of the Lord came to the older prophet that brought him back and he began to prophesy to him doom and gloom mm -hmm. because he didn't obey what the Spirit of God told him mm -hmm. verse 22 thou camest back and has eaten bread and drank water of the which the Lord said do not eat do not drink thy carcass shall not come unto the sepulcher of thy fathers and as he goes on here this is a long story he gets killed on the road on the way home mm -hmm. do not go back the same way say do not go back the same way so here we are this word has come into your ears that the holy ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words and I worship you Holy Ghost many elders would be moved by what they would call the Lord to tell you not to go there but to go back their way go back our way they say many elders would be moved by God they think to talk you out of going here with the living God the Holy Ghost God in the earth today don't go back don't go back what happened to the the prophet when he went back he died there's nothing back there for you understand that someone who has never entered into this room of worshiping the Holy Ghost they're not Holy Ghost worshipers they can't instruct you in the ways to walk with God in the earth today they can't instruct you in the ways of Holy Ghost worship they've never been there they don't know what it's all about mm -hmm. you're a Holy Ghost worshiper mm -hmm. they aren't they've never opened their mouth and said I worship you Holy Ghost but I'm never going back say I'm never going back. never going back an expanse opens up to you as you begin to worship him as God a new ministry new glory and a new future awaits you in this room mm -hmm. did I explain that people who don't worship the Holy Ghost can't tell you what it's like in here they can't instruct you in the ways of walking with him my capacity to receive has increased 100 fold i'm not the same person in here that i was out there smith wigglesworth an apostle of faith used to say i'm a thousand times bigger on the inside than i am on the outside but i didn't get here overnight i got here by paying prices prices of obedience listen prices of obedience praying in the spirit i put in my ten thousand hours and i am the fruit and have come to life and maturity from the trees of my forefathers in the faith i didn't get here by myself 
so those of you word of faith and spirit brothers and sisters hear me hear my words go here with me become a Holy Ghost worshiper your life will forever be changed I'm calling you in there is a vast land ahead on the inside for you but if you don't go through this door of I worship you Holy Ghost and using those words I worship you Holy Ghost you will only see the old you will only see the old land and you can only hope to fulfill what the old land people could fulfill most of whom are dead people love this message <laughs> but the new land calls for you the new land calls for a new message one that you can carry I am God says the Spirit Lord worship me walk with me this is the message people need to hear that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we can walk with him he's the one Jesus sent to be with us Amen. then you can teach them how to walk with him make Holy Ghost worshipers out of people did you hear that mm -hmm. say make, make Holy, Ghost Holy Ghost worshipers, worshipers out, of out of people now there's a third person this week that I've heard say this it's my testimony too but uh, the third person say the third person, the third person that I've heard say this and all three all three of them are preachers and they all said it and when they first got born again they believed on the Lord Jesus Christ that they were immediately moved to start talking to and worshiping the Holy Ghost as God it just it just came to them that way mm -hmm. I'm the same way then all three of them their story continued they went to Bible school or Bible college and were instructed out of it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was taken away from them and they had something else put in are you here but people fresh out of the world that get saved people that are fresh out of the world that believe that Jesus died for their sins according to the scriptures died buried rose again on the third day right yes. ascended into heaven and sent the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. it makes sense to them mm -hmm. who do you fellowship and walk with then the Holy Ghost God in the earth today this is the way walk ye in it we should be spending our time working with the Holy Ghost instructing people into fellowship with him why Jesus come that we would receive the one that came after him mm -hmm. so we should be what's well, our dispensation we're in the Holy Ghost dispensation our job is to get people into fellowship with him the Holy Ghost and then we can instruct them in the ways of walking with him mm -hmm. not instructing them in the ways of religious doctrine and religious thinking that blocks people or takes them out well to you my beloved brethren who've received this new faith and have become Holy Ghost worshipers you may call yourself a Holy Ghost worshiper because you've come to this place you my friend are pleasing God but be prepared are you ready for this be prepared for naysayers and the naysaying of elders to come and tell you to go back the way you came to go back where they are mm -hmm. you make them uncomfortable mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God who's the only God in the earth today the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost he that comes to God must believe that he is mm -hmm. is where 
is in the earth is who is God can you give me that the Holy Ghost is God he's in the earth today he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him your worship of him pleases him and there is a reward for you in this new land so don't be held back by the naysaying of the old elders they wouldn't go here not one of them put their foot through this door but don't let it stop you for there's a new land ahead waiting for you abundant blessing prosperity in jesus name thank you holy ghost for it i thank you for blessing these people and that they can have their ears opened to the truth of your word and walk through that door like never before we worship you in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. i worship you you are god in the earth today wealth and riches shall be in my house i obey you i walk with you and i worship you in jesus name amen your God in the earth today. The Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right.